Let's get started. We started with six cups of cold water in our slow cooker. I have a cup and a half of already cooked chicken that I saved from earlier in the week. And then we're adding our vegetables. I like sweet potatoes and I like when they slow cook all day, they just kind of mush and fall apart and have this nice sweet texture that my kids love. We add in sweet potatoes and then broccoli. Plop those guys in with an onion. And then the base of our broth to give it a tiny bit more flavor, they do use chicken bouillon. And these are the granules that you can find in the store. I get the ones that are gluten free with no added MSG. That, a tiny bit of kosher salt to taste. This is about a teaspoon. I start low and then you can always season to taste at the table, but canned chicken soup is full of sodium. So please start slow and then build your way up. And then this is the little bit of oomph to the flavor. It's balsamic vinegar. I like using balsamic vinegar in my chicken-based soups because I like the twang that it provides. And I also like that the nice dark brown color really sort of deepens the color of the broth. So everything's in the pot. We're just going to give it a quick stir and shove all of our vegetables down in the broth and make sure that the bouillon and the vinegar are evenly dispersed. We're going to put the lid on and slow cook on low for about eight hours. Now, don't worry about the noodles. We'll get to that part. That's something that we add about 20 or so minutes right before serving. All right, so our soup has been cooking on low for about eight hours. The chicken is nice and tender and you can see that it started to shred and all of your vegetables are soft and your onion is translucent. All right, we're going to add a handful of raw spaghetti. This is usually about a half of a package. We squish them all into the pot. They will melt and soften and become wonderful. We've got about two cups of baby spinach leaves. These are trimmed baby spinach leaves, no stems. We're gonna squish it down with our spoon. If the noodles break a little, that's okay, not a problem. Lid goes back on. And this time, we're going to set it to high. And we're gonna let the noodles soften and cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. So now this is the perfect time for you to change your clothes, put away your work stuff, set the table, take the dog out, and do all the things that you need to do while you're getting ready for dinner. Check this out, 20 minutes is all it takes for your spaghetti noodles to soften beautifully and for the spinach to practically disappear. It's wonderful, I can add an entire bag of baby spinach and it just kind of melts into the dish. My kids never know it's there. And it's filled with vitamin A and all of that lovely stuff. I would say this would serve probably six to seven people, maybe eight if you've got small kids in the house. If you are cooking for yourself, not a problem. Freeze it. Now, since we used homemade broth versus store-bought broth, you're going to find that your tongue is missing that bit of salt that you would normally associate with chicken noodle soup. So give it a taste first and then season it if needed with a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Mmm. Ah, wow. The sweet potato has this kind of comforting texture and flavor that is missing in a lot of canned soup. I really like this and I highly recommend the next time you're in the mood for soup, make it yourself. You can do this.